Hello everyone, today we have a really beautiful problem for number theory. This is good for mathematical olympiads like IOQM American Math Competitions or ISI CMI entrances. We will learn a strategy called augmentation. Now to learn this strategy, as always, I will talk about a problem. So we will start the problem, we will use the strategy and we will learn how to use it and you can then use it in other problems. Okay, and I also give you a challenge problem. Let's try. So the problem says that for what values of x, x being an integer, for what values of x, x cubed minus 3x plus 2, this particular expression is divisible by 2x plus 1. Now what I will do is I will augment this dividend term. Why will I do that? What is my motivation? My motivation is this, that I noticed that the coefficient of x here is 2. The coefficient of x here is just 1. That will be problematic if I just try to go and divide it. I want the coefficients of the highest power of both the dividend and the divisor to be same. So what I'll do is instead of x, I want 2x whole cube. 2x whole cube, that's 8, 8x cube, right? So I want 8x cube to be the dividend, like the highest power of the dividend is x cube. I want the coefficient of it to be 8. Then my division will be much simpler. So what I'm going to do is I'll just multiply this thing by 8 and then I will try to divide it. Okay, now you might say, okay, now if you are able to divide it, maybe 2x plus 1 divides this multiplied part, this 8. Here is the challenge question. Can you tell me in the comment section why 2x plus 1 will never divide 8? It's a very simple thing. You have to just think about it and then comment, okay? That's the challenge. Let's now work on the main problem. This is 8x cube minus 8 into 3x is minus 24x and 8 into 2 is 16. This divided by 2x plus 1. So I would do a normal division. Okay, so now we just have to long divide. If you do not know how to long divide in algebra, then go ahead and check it out from Hall and Knight or Bernard Child. It's quite simple. So to, to get the 8x cube, I need to multiply by 4x square. So I have 8x cube plus 4x square here. So now I have minus 4x square minus 24x plus 16. And then to get minus 4x square, I have to multiply minus 2x. So minus 4x square minus 2x. Uh, okay, so this is minus 22x plus 16. And all I need to do is multiply by negative 11. So negative 22x, negative 11. So I have 27. Excellent. So the remainder is 27. So uh, if I write it again, 8 into x cube minus 3x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 is some quotient, which is 4x square minus 2x minus 11 plus 27 divided by 2x plus 1, right? Okay, so we are almost done. We just have to find out when does 27 gets divided by 2x plus 1? For what values of x? Remember, x is an integer. It can be a positive integer. It can be a negative integer. So, um, you can easily check because 27 has 3 and 9 and 1 and 27 as divisors and their negative counterparts. You can now set 2x plus 1 as one of these numbers and find the value of x. I will do one of them. I will ask you to do the remaining ones. So it is like this. 2x plus 1 is equal to positive 9, which means 2x is equals to 8 or x is equals to 4. I found one of them. Why don't you find the remaining ones and put it in the comment section. Chinta has outstanding programs in mathematical olympiads, physics, computer science, and research programs for school students. If you're interested in these or path to Ivy League universities, then check the link in the description. And if you like mathematics related videos, then please stay subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, keep on doing good mathematics.